Welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for Bant Flash. We have a donation deck here for Bant Flash. You can see that's what the D, D up here stands for. Um, and this one looks pretty cool. So we are uh, you know, basically trying to play instant speed and uh, we have a lot of different creatures and a lot of like cool interactions in our deck that I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do. First and foremost, we are a Vivian Champion of the Wilds deck. We got four of those in our deck. Uh, this is what gives all of our creatures flash if they don't already have it. Uh, this has been one of my favorite cards to play so far in the new set. There's just a lot of like you know good Planeswalkers in the set. I mean, that's just what the set's built around, of course. But there's been a lot of them that have been pretty fun to play, and Vivian is right there at the forefront. So we'll see how it works out here with Vivian. We got our Frilled Mystics that is awesome in this kind of uh, deck also because you can, you know, like Frilled Mystic, kind of the problem with it when you're playing like a creature heavy deck is that you, like you have to choose. Are you going to play your creature or are like when you have four mana or are you going to hold your Frilled Mystic available to potentially counter your opponent's spell? Uh, but then if they don't really play anything you want to counter or if they don't play anything at all and just pass back to you, then you're just stuck wasting your mana unless you're just going to play your 3-2. However, if all of your creatures have flash, then you have the ability to hold your Frilled Mystic up, and if you choose that you don't need to use it, you can instead play whatever other creature um, at end step and, and untap and still have your Frilled Mystic for the next turn. So that's pretty nice. Um, another cool thing that we have at instant speed, of course, is Shalai. Anytime you can have Shalai at instant speed, you can just save any any of your uh, creatures or planeswalkers, you know, just give them, basically have dive down uh, for three more mana, but you get a three, four flying body attached. And that works particularly well when you're trying to save something like Deputy of Detention, uh, for example, there. Um, also in this deck, we have God Eternal Oketra. This is going to be a new card where I think this is my first time playing Oketra. I'm pretty sure this is my first time playing Oketra. And this can be like, like a kind of threat that uh, can get a lot of creatures on the battlefield for us uh, where they the opponent may not see it coming. You know, like we have like an Oketra, we have our Vivian, so our creatures have Flash, we just pass the turn. And they like do like things they need to do or maybe like have a removal spell to try to kill Oketra. And then in response, we just play like two or three creatures and make two or three four four zombie warrior tokens. And then suddenly they're taking way too much damage. So that'll be interesting to, to try out. Um... We got this skydiver just kind of hanging out too, I suppose. So that that's what we got. Let's let's check it out. I really like these time ravelers too for Nexus. That card has been just awesome. That's you know another card putting Esper Control up on the map. So let's give it a try. So we're going to the traditional constructed with our donation deck here. Yeah, I'll catch it at instant speed. It's like. Oketra doesn't do anything, like, super special, like, whenever it enters. Hey, what's up, Valoraxial? So it's not, like, you know, it doesn't, like, protect something or counter, you know, it doesn't have, like, an ETB effect. Yeah, Skydiver, yeah, I should have mentioned Skydiver working with Incubation Druid and Growth Chamber Guardian, giving them those counters so they can do their things. One more land. I'd be in there. We didn't have that one more land, though, so it was not in there. And we got, what do we have later? We got Soul Tie. Okay, got all that. 
<clears throat> the metagame challenge is a weekend event that um, is like a high stakes event. Like it has twice the entry fee that, that this does. For ex And then uh, once you lose one match, you're out. But if you uh, win a bunch of matches, you can win a ton of packs. And so it's has a really high, um, you know, low floor, high ceiling as far as what you can win. And so it should be some pretty good competition. Just sucker for, for old Mystic Time Wipe. Oh, one thing I didn't mention with the Teferi, I really like the three mana Teferi with Frilled Mystic. Because, like, three mana Teferi, you just pick your Frilled Mystic back up, plus draw a card, plus then counter something else. I like that. What does it say that my opponent took Frilled over Krasis or Deputy? Well, one. Well, a Deputy is horrible in this matchup. They would never take Deputy. Uh, but. Yeah, they're worried, like, Frilled Mystics being a, a two for one, they were more worried about than, like, Krasis drawing some cards when I only have three mana. Like,. I don't think they take Krasis when I have three mana. Anyway. Deputy, I'm sideboarding out very quickly. You can you just can never have Deputy actually stick on the battlefield with a deck that's full of wrath. We need to move Rats. quickly. I was hoping they were going to counter it. We will meet again. Hey, QEL33 with a Twitch Prime sub. Keep up the pace. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that sub there. Sub number seven on the day. Hold that thought. What is my favorite set? Ha! Huh. Joke's on you. Don't have any good cards. Um, I really liked Magic Origins as a set. From a set from like the not too distant past. <laughs> my army will I'm never gonna beat Liliana and Teferi. All right, let's try again. Six card hand did not get there, but we got good sideboard stuff with Veto, Teferi, and Carnage Tyrant. Actually, kind of like Knight of Autumn here in this matchup too. We'll get Deputy the heck up, up out of here. Uh, Johnny, we don't need. Settle, we don't need. So this gives us 65 here. Hmm? All right. How many creatures we got in the 65 right now? 32. Hmm. What if I just don't play Llanowar Elf? Are we going to be too slow without Llanowar Elf? Whew, 23 lands? Okay, never mind. We're playing Land World. Never mind. Mm -hmm. So, Bolshalai and Rolesk are like pretty expensive. 
and like easy to answer kind of thing. So this doesn't give me like 27 creatures with Vivians. Maybe I'll just take out one of these Vivians. Nah, give me Vivian back. Yeah, you can, Jackinator. I don't think Vivian's really a turn to win. With with Esper playing like the pro the problem that I've kind of found with Vivian is Esper plays this Teferi, and that Teferi shuts down Vivian's ability to give your creatures flash, which shuts it down quite a bit. I think Esper is a lot better than Jeskai. I think what you gain from, like, I think just Thought Erasure, Mortify, Kai Azerath is a lot better than what Red gives you. Um. Which one do I need in play? Trust me, you'll thank me later. I've got time. So Teferi should allow us, to, like, you know, it'll help us re resolve Vivian. I don't think that they have Thought Erasure because they didn't Thought Erasure there. But, you know, now they can't play instant speed stuff. So Vivian should be able to resolve now that we have Teferi in play. Would you like to see what's left of Skull? For the Fallen. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Probably about 25 minutes, Chengus. That didn't go according to plan. All things begin and end in nature. Carnage Tyrant, no. There is wonder in a blade of grass. Yeah, Shalai, in response to the Thought Erasure, would be nice if it, you know, if it wasn't countered, of course. Or was it, like, you know, still mortified? Like, after it resolves the... I guess... I don't even know if there is time. Is there time to mortify Shalai and... Or is the... Like, before the Thought Erasure resolves? I would think so. Yeah, New Chandra is so good against you show remorse. Just no time for creatures. So in case they have Absorb, we'll get this in here. Make it so they can only have, like, removal spell. Oh, I should I should have ticked up the Vivian on the Land of War Elf. Dang it. Give this Land of War Elf Vigilance. It's only a matter of time. Have you ever lost a home? Hmm.
don't think we really need to fight over that. <laughs> Wait, you think nature is kind? Vivian has Strike been now. awesome Strike for us. Hard. All right, so Vivian was great. Uh, you know, our Teferi was the card that ate the Contempt that allowed Vivian to do all that stuff. Do I play Shalai instead of Oketra? No. Okay, we're going to game three here against Esper. Oh, yeah. I agree. Creatures with Flash are so strong. I agree. I think Flash is just one of the very best keywords in Magic. You know, having stuff instant speed really is, and it's the most overlooked keyword whenever cards are printed and people are just reading them before playing them. So I love Frilled Mystic. I'll keep it. We only got 23 lands in the deck, so there's like, you know, 18 more lands. It's not very many more lands. Here, we'll probably draw some spells here. Plus, if they have Thought Erasure on turn two, it's not like, you know, it's like they take the Frilled Mystic, but it's not like amazing. But then we, you know, we don't have any of the three mana Planeswalkers, which are just so good. <laughs> we don't have any of them in our hand right now. Very smartly. We didn't mulligan to look for them, because otherwise they would have dressed them away. Yeah, the Mardu Control was a donation deck. Yes. Uh, that was Ray Day Pinball's deck, who... Ray Day Pinball played a lot of Mardu Control last format as well. So, yeah, they did a real good job with it. Um, no. Stop. To be, f I, to be honest, I haven't played Ashiok at all, but I haven't really wanted Ashiok. It's like, I've tried to talk myself into putting Ashiok into, like, a deck to, for, um, like, Nexus or Phoenix. I haven't talked myself into it yet. If Phoenix, Phoenix gets a lot bigger. Maybe. Hey, B Golem. Howdy. It's going good. Mm -hmm. 
So the problem with playing Knight of Autumn and then holding up Frilled Mystic is that that means we'd have to have like the Incubation Druid be able to cast the Frilled Mystic. And if we wait then, if we do that, um, then if they just had like a cast down for the Incubation Druid. I've not played a Feather, Tenth District Legionnaire deck yet. Do you, Parappa, if you said you're having a lot of fun with it, would you mind sending it to me? I That is one of the couple of decks, as far as donation decks, that I uh, need to play at some point. So if you wouldn't mind sending me your list, I would like to take a look at it, if you're having fun with it. Alright, so there's only 14 other lands in here. They're not going to draw lands. So next turn is Kaya's Wrath. And then we play Dino. And then they have to have another Kaya's Wrath for Dino. We're certainly hoping no Thought Erasure. Ugh. Stop drawing lands. Hmm. That doesn't really make me think that they have a Kaya's Wrath if they're just cast downing there. I kind of want to play the Dino. But man, if they just Kai's Wrath away the Dino, then we lose. I don't think they cast that cast down if they have Wrath. Unless they're worried about like Wrath resolving. They could be worried about Wrath resolving. The undead make great minions. Loyal, let's reduce the battle to shambles. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. The mysteries of life are endless. Liliana, really good. What a good, mindless minion. Let me show you what was lost. I don't really know how they're not blocking here. Ah. 
I'm a survivor. They were a lousy servant anyway. Would you mute the game's ambience and turn down the game a bit? <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. I think I want the ambience still on there. I'm sorry. Okay, everybody else has the... They like the sound how it is. Ooh. <clears throat> Teferi's an interesting one. Is Teferi resolve? Resolve? Man. Starting over is the only way. Should have killed Liliana. It's definitely considering killing Liliana with Carnage Tyrant. I don't I don't know if I can I don't think I can win this now. Not today, death. I always survive. You'll see. <laughs> Putrid, but effective. Oh, that'd have been nice to have that to that's a fairy. Ugh. All right, another land. Hey, what's up, Parappa? Thank you so much for that. Teresa up here for the fourth month. Get that thought erasure out of here. I am. Let's skip to the good part. Playing, playing against Esper is, is tough. Rise and shine. Um, maybe if I would have played the Carnage Tyrant the turn before, you know, like, yeah, you know, maybe we would have been able to attack them enough to kill them with it. But then they had the Kai's Wrath like the very next turn after the Liliana, so maybe they just had Kai's Wrath and Liliana also like both in their hand. And if we would have played the Carnage Tyrant, then it would have just got Kai's Wrath away. Um, maybe if I would have just had the Carnage Tyrant attack the Liliana though, just had that off the battlefield, and then even though we, you know, weren't putting them on a a one turn clock. In that case, they just would have had no Liliana and none of these other creatures and everything. It's it's tough. Like always, we want to draw Hydroid Crisis. That's our card. Nope. So no matter what card, like we we take six here. No matter what card we we play, like Teferi deals with it. We take a bunch more. We were duress. That's true. We were duress on turn one, and we didn't have any spells. So that was that was kind of cool. Blocking the two two zombie. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't block the two two zombie with the carnage tyrant. There's no reason not to block that. Like I guess in my mind, like for some reason in my mind, it, my carnage tyrant was just tapped because I attacked with it, so it was tapped, and so it couldn't block. But, you know, I had the, the Vigilance because the Liliana. Or, sorry, because the the Vivian. I don't know. There's no reason not to block there. I don't, I don't know what was going on in my head. Just wasn't thinking about the game. But the Carnage Tyrant the turn earlier 
Yeah, could have just got Wrathed away. Alright, we'll keep this. It's tough. It's tough, um... At that spot to kill Liliana or, you know, they're at 9. We have basically the one Carnage Tyrant as a threat. It's like, make them have Kaya's Wrath the very next turn or they're dead. Or kill Liliana and then give them... Give them two turns to draw Kaya's Wrath, basically. But Liliana's out of there. But then they'd have another... They'd have another draw. Or an extra turn for... Kaya's Wrath. I went for giving them one last turn and attacking them. Did not work out. Yeah, it's 0-1. Sorry. Hey, drummer Phil guy. Welcome. How's your Friday going? No matter which creature I played there, Skydiver or, Chamber, or Growth Chamber Guardian, it was definitely getting bolted against this red deck. So just going with the Skydiver. So like Growth Chamber Guardian later on, when we have like five mana, it could be something special. play Vivian, I don't think Vi Vivian's not really surviving until our next turn. I mean, maybe it does. And then, yeah, if I go 4-3 or 2-1, it's probably take, like, Knight of Autumn's probably taking that Lightning Strike either way. Alright, well, now I'm going with this. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Tear it down! Tear it all down! Deputy doesn't make a it's a ton of sense here with the Lava Runner having haste. Yeah, Knight of Autumn did gain a 7 life. Did its job. Instant Speed July would be awesome. No, probably not, Jerska. The chat would have to be really bad for me to do something like that. Put it in uh, sub only mode. Ah, but chat's not bad. Strike me chat's great. And you strike nature. You can still walk away. Which one would I rather have lightning striked? This thing uses my mana better. I'm gonna play this thing. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? Strike now! Strike hard! Hey, 619. So good news with this Vivian is we are saving quite a bit of life. You know, like, Vivian's taken five damage so far. So that's good. We're just, you know, trying to survive and get to our more expensive spells that we have in hand right now. Oh, 
Okay, so you've got claws. <laughs> Wait, you think nature is kind? Let's see if they have the burn spell this time. Not ideal. They did. Come on, Frilled Mystic. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. Great hit. Great hit. Good job, Vivian. Way to go. Way to go, Vivian. <laughs> uh, that doesn't help. That's not helping. I should just attack with Shalai there. If they attack with Chain Whirler, I'm not blocking it. I should have just attacked with Shalai. Yeah, play that Pyromancer. Do it. Good thing uh, Rolesk Apex Hybrid only costs... Um... One blue. Wow. Rolesk is doing it. So, like, yeah, Rolesk has um, Hexproof because the Shalai. So they, like, want to attack and try to try to burn the Rolesk. They can't. Shalai's going to just take this one home. Maybe. Maybe take this one home. <laughs> All right. We got there. Let's get, get some Dawnbringers up in here. Some more Knight of Autumns, a whole bunch of Dovin's Vetoes, and Frilled Mystic out, Saddle back in, o one Oketra out, and all of our fives are pretty good. I actually do like Deputy, because, uh, you know, just eats a just eats a burn spell, and that's fine. That is fine, just fine. One row of out. Yeah, I already put Lyra in the in. I put it in too fast for you. Alright. You're sitting at four wins, Ross. Hey, good good job, good luck. We're going to be playing the metagame challenge here in a little bit with Soul Time Midrange and Grixis Control, as you can see. Don't tr chain whirler my elves, please. I think I normally kind of want to take out elves, but with us only playing 23 lands, it's kind of rough. So they did not hit a land drop there. They have Lightning Strike and light up the stage. If they don't have another land here, I get to just block this Lava Runner. Ugh. Gross. Oh, well, those things are still gone. Um... Yeah, I guess if I don't do this, we're taking two damage. So might as well do this. Yeah, might as well shock.
There you go. You got a, a Kefnet and a Bantu in your 10 packs from the metagame challenge. Not so bad at all. Oh, one land red. Sad. Alright, even in the score back up. Back to 1-1. One, one. Yeah, they kept one lander with the light of the stage, and the light of the stage didn't find a land either. It's a weekend event that they that they do. Uh, they, they've done it a couple of times, like with the, or they've done it like I guess they did it at least last set. I think they did the set before too. But it's like um, you break even on coins after three wins in the metagame challenge. Very reasonable. I mean, that's having to go three zero. It's really tough to go three zero. That's not a very reasonable break even point being three zero. Right? Like that's. Well, I mean, it's it gives you a ton of product, though, if you do better. So, sorry, I guess I shouldn't say that that isn't reasonable. Sorry. I didn't mean to say it like that. But, oh, no, I should... Well, Shalai is great in this matchup, but I also don't have mana. The Simic Midrange deck won you 25 packs. Hey, way to go. Did you play with Tamiyo, Kaios? Did you, did you play it with Tamiyo? And if so, how was Tamiyo? Okay, yeah, so two wins is past break even. Good, yeah, that's that's where it should be, because it is... It's, it's not super easy to go 2-0. Nope, no Kai, no Tamiyo? Okay. Because I, I was thinking about re replacing... Kiora with Tamiyo. In that deck. Lance? Love it. Great draw. Yeah, so two wins, you're, you're above even. Yeah, so that's good. to see what's left of Scala. Tear it down! Tear it all down! I like Lava Runners with Vigilance and Reach. Ugh. Can't really win by taking it. Because that puts us down to two. And even like a Shalai doesn't save us even if we draw the land. All things begin and end in nature. No, I need those lands. Come on, cast for risk factor. Risk factor. Risk factor. Risk factor. Tilt. Fairy may not be that bad. Maybe I want to fairy. Hmm. 
Nah, I don't want the fairy. Alright, we need to uh, pick this up. Hey, his little egg thing is kind of cracked. Whatever that thing is. Unless it's supposed to be like that. Alright, this hand's looking better. We actually have mana. I... Yeah, mono blue is not... Like, basically... All the other decks are like more powerful, and Mono Blue is not more powerful. New Teferi is a huge, huge beating. Like Esper and Nexus both got really big tools for for that matchup. You know, Esper got New Teferi. Um, Nexus got Blast uh, Blast Zone. Yeah, Blast Zone. That's the name of the card. Light up the stage. Or Dovin's Veto. And nobody plays Masker Girl. And it, it doesn't really wreck Mono Blue too much. Like it's just too it's too by by the time you're playing five mana, the minus one minus one isn't really that big a deal. Uh, when they have bigger things, like whatever creature has the cure, you know, like they have creature with like Curious Obsession or they just have Tempest Gin or Terramander's Adapted. We're basically playing counter spells for these skewers proactively. It takes their turn. Slows them down. I do not want to give one of those Let Vigilance Reach. Let me show reach. you what was lost. Guys, be nice in chat. Are they doing all five damage upstairs? Are they gonna be worried worried about Vivian at all? Does not seem like they're worried about Vivian at all. Mysteries of life are endless. I'm sorry, Dirk. I'm sorry about that. All right, good job, shall I? Counter that shock. Good job. Any tips for starting out? I'm old and haven't played MTG since Ice Age, but kind of dipping my toes back into Arena. 
just grind out the masteries until I can buy some packs and build better decks. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's good. And then, like, make sure every day... Um, oh, we only have one white source. I think I'm going to actually... I'm going to tick up, not tick down. Have Each day, make sure you get... You do your daily quest. Um, if you're... You either get a 500 or a 750 daily quest. So if it's a... 750, or sorry, if it's a 500, you can re-roll it and try to get a 750. <laughs> you have to do better than that. Right, I'm just going to gain four here. Starting over is the only way. Um, as far as just like, like if you're just kind of new to magic and you want to just, uh, help level up your magic game, so check out this, uh, article series called Level 1 The Full Course, it has just lots and lots of information of just, um, playing magic and getting better and everything. It's a couple years old, so it's not like about the most up-to-date decks right now, but like the lessons are still very good. All right, looks like we're going to game three. You fight like a city brat. So land whirl on the draw is like a problem against chain whirler. I think it's a much bigger problem than on the play. Let's get the Skydiver back in here. Over one of them. I don't really want to play the other cards. I don't want like a fourth Vivian. I don't think I want Teferi. I'm like trying to talk myself into like the Teferi, but I don't think so. So we'll just play the other Land Whirls. Hope they don't get Chain Whirled away. You're welcome, Joshbot. Hmm. This one. This could be tough. Hey Jonah, I'm doing good. Yes, we'll be playing the metagame challenge. That's over here how it says metagame challenge. And it has two decks. It means we're going to be playing those decks in the metagame challenge. That's the plan. So we just want to draw lands, especially on tap lands would be really nice. Land of Rolf should die from Firebrand or something else. A Johnny is amazing here. Like, we have really good cards here, Knight of Autumns and a Johnny. Can we cast them before we're dead? Risk Factor. I don't want my opponent to play Risk Factor. So we're down to 10. Maybe even lower if they have another spell. Oh no. Well, this got a lot worse. Got a whole lot worse. Oh, 
Well, it could just be dead. We may not even get to untap. Okay, we do get to untap. Yeah, Steamkin with a couple with like all these light of the stages. So yeah, they've cast three light of the stages with Steamkin. That's that's a great uh it's a great turn. So obviously I'm letting them draw these cards. Hopefully they draw a bunch of lands now after all those other cards. GG's. So, one thing that I, I feel like I want in this Dex sideboard here. You know, not main deck. Hey, cool, we got 40 gems. We will write this story together. Not, not necessarily in the main deck. But in the sideboard, I think that we just need removal. There's no removal in the main. There's no other removal in the sideboard. I think that we could use like some baffling ends. Because as we see there, like if you can't kill a Steamkin, Steamkin can just do some crazy stuff. I mean, I guess I guess I have Deputy Detention. That's somewhat of a removal spell. Um, yeah, I guess we have Deputy Detention. Still feel like we need like some baffling ends. Um, to like make room for that, there's a good chance that we can't really have Oketra and Roalask in the main, or like you know four of these five drops in the main plus two Liras in the sideboard. Hey Ross, thank you so much. Thanks for all those bits. Kudos to you, Todd, for not playing Nexus. Thank you so much. Yeah. I do not like playing Nexus. But yeah, thanks for all those those little biddies. Uh, where's my cheers emote? There it is. Cheers. So maybe maybe something there. Uh, I guess we, we do have like the settle also. Um, but still, I could, I could certainly see just not playing Roalesque. It doesn't seem like this card's really necessary, and if, and basically, if you if you get rid of the two Roalesque and just play Lyra Dawnbringers instead, because it's not like Roalesque is is better against Control than Lyra Dawnbringer is. They're like both kind of like the same, but you know Lyra would help out the aggro matchup game one, and just like if you just didn't have those, then you could have like two baffling ends in the sideboard. So maybe. You know, like, I don't really know what Roalesque is really doing much better than Lyra, where you need to, like, use precious slots on it. And, like, Baffling End can be really important against, like, Mono White, for example, getting rid of um, their 3 threes and stuff like that. I feel like that would be good. Like, just getting a couple of... Just getting a couple of those removal spells in there. Yeah, I think we need some baffling ends. Yeah, it's it's just great against so many different decks. And the whole Roalesque to Lyra, like that's not I mean, there's a good chance Lyra is just going to be better a lot of the time when we have Flash Lyra and everything and Lyra pairing with Shalai and all all that stuff that that does. I don't think that that I mean, that honestly probably makes our our main deck is probably better with Lyra Dawnbringer than Roalesque. I think Lyra is just a better card. And then we get baffling ends in the sideboard. We did struggle with white mana also. That was another thing. And just sitting here looking at two, like four, we have 10. We have 10 white sources in the whole deck. 
and we have like these double white spells we can't have 10 white sources like that's just not that's not realistic we need to just get all those hollowed fountains in and like just play hollowed fountain instead of island we can take the two damage uh, with Hallowed Found whenever we have things like Shalai, Lyra, Knight. Like, we, we have, like, a lot of life gain. We have to be able to cast our spells, though. So I, I would get rid of those islands and replace them with Hallowed Fountains. Also. Because, obviously, our mana is really tough, like, with having trying to play for Old Mystic and, and these things. But so we just we need all those shock lands. Got to get those in there. Okay, so those so that would be a couple of small changes I would make. I like I like Baffling End more than Prison Realm because I think that the two mana is really important. We we have a lot of things at the three mana slot, but like against like aggro decks, you really really want the two mana removal spell, not the three mana removal. I think it's a big difference, but between two and three, that's worth playing Baffling End. Um, I th I do like hmm I do like Incubation Druid, but very good chance Paradise Druid could be better. The The main reason why I like Incubation Druid here is because of Krasis. Like, Incubation's druid -y. Yeah, I think I would stay with Incubation Druid. Incubation Druid's ability, sorry, to adapt. Like, if we have instant speed stuff and we don't want to, like, or if we don't want to play our Frilled Mystic or whatever, being able to adapt and have all the mana for Krasis. I think I think the Druid's probably worth it, but that one's close. That's a, that's a good, good question there for sure. That one's pretty close, and I, I think I'm leaning towards Incubation Druid there. All right, so that's Bant Flash. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you try out some of these uh, changes here. And there we go. Thanks for watching, and I will see you for another video.